Thanks. The son of the New Britain hospital shooting suspect speaking out tonight, saying his father called him and told him that he shot two people. We've also learned the man had been fired before police say he started shooting. News 8's Bob Wilson is live outside the New Britain courthouse where the suspect appeared in court today. Bob? Yeah, Victor Vercarasol was in court today and he told police in the police report that he was being pushed at work and he just reached the limit. He said he was a good employee. The problem was they were going to fire him and when they fired him, he says, quote, it made me so mad, I was crazy, I wanted to kill Bob and Lynn. Bob being his boss, Lynn, a co-worker. And police say that's what he did. He went to his house and got a gun. Where's the person with the gun? I don't know where, uh, Joe, where's the person with the gun? I got two victims here. The 911 tapes show the chaos after the shooting. The SWAT team surrounding the hospital, police trying to evacuate the wounded, the search, the arrest. Today, we find out what happened from the police and the suspect's son. My condolences to the families of what happened. I mean, I'm not here to say that my dad did the right thing. He did the wrong thing. While Victor Valcarcel went before a judge, having confessed the whole thing to police, his son stands on the courthouse steps and tells what happened to his father. He was shaken. He, he wasn't himself. He wasn't even really talking to me. He didn't know, he didn't know what to do. Did he he was pacing in circles. According to the police report, Valcarcel went into the hospital with a gun that he found in his attic, shooting his boss, Robert Barucci, and his co-worker, Lynn Trask, after he had been fired. Police say he went back and forth, shooting one and then the other, and then he walked out the door, went home, cooked himself a meal, and sat down to watch TV. At some point, he called his son and told him what he did. His son turned him into police. Of course I love my dad. I mean, who doesn't love their parents? I mean, I'm going to try to help my dad as much as I can. I, like I did last night, you know, I put myself in front of the, the police officers to turn in my dad because I know that he was out in the dark, standing there, and they were not going to see him. And he did have the weapon in his hand. Neighbors describe Val Carcel as a loving grandfather who was always playing basketball with his grandson here at the house in the yard. Not a man with a gun. He seemed to be a nice neighbor. He never bothered anybody. And if I needed help, he'd be the first one to come over and do it for me. He's given a safe patients at General Hospital and this hospital also. Somebody was choking and he saved their life when the staff wasn't even there. Now, police tonight are saying that they will continue the investigation. It's not over even though they have this paperwork. Meanwhile, Victor's son says he wants to be clear. He says his father needs to be punished for this crime. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in New Britain, News 8.